so well the ways of all this and love them. Teach us to raise our minds and hearts out of the tragedy. And the physics thereon are respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, you do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims. Your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your mercies on the beast for us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us sleep without a God. But let each man take his brother into the depths of the us mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by light and divine me, will see all things in your love. Come to my assistance. Lord. Lord, come to me. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Hallelujah. Come, worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Hallelujah. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hand. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Come, worship the Lord, for we are his people, the flock he shepherds, 
Alleluia. shall be priests of God and of Christ, and they shall reign with him a thousand years. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes, you have found grace to follow your enemy, to silence a foe and a rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arrange, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god, with glory and honor you crowned him. You gave him power over the works of your hands, Put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They shall be priests of God and of Christ, and they shall reign with Him a thousand years. You say that I am a king, everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who sang on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, Grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You say that I am a king. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice.
We utter the Amen through Christ to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you under the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We utter the Amen through Christ to the glory of God. Alleluia. I will extol you, O Lord, among the nations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, shining stars. Praise Him, highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded they were made. He fixed them forever. They will always shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea creatures and all oceans, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey His word. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, bees, wild and game, reptiles and birds on the wing, all earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he alone is exalted, the splendor of his name, riches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people, he is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes to us. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I will extol you, O Lord, among the nations. He destined us in love to the praise of His glorious grace. Hallelujah! Praise God in His holy place. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His powerful deeds. 
Praise His surpassing greatness. Oh, praise Him with sound of trumpet. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise Him with resounding cymbals. Praise Him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes Give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He destined us in love, to the praise of His glorious grace. In the second letter to Timothy, remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of David, was raised from the dead. You can depend on this. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we hold out to the end, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he will still remain faithful. For he cannot deny himself. Mode five. Capitis, omnes numeratis Noli te di mere, multis vaseribus mediores estis bus. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Vestri capiti capitis, omnes numerati sunt, noliteti mede, multus passeribus meriores estis ut. Ade noste, qui es in celis, santifice pur nomen tu, advenia regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in celo et in terra. Ade nostrum quotidiano, da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione, sed libera nos a malo. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the Word. The eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets to the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you. Despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Mother.